Today is the 19th of April. I'm on my way to see my periodontology patient. She's coming in for a cleaning today. On my way to Dental Park. Let's go, guys. And just like that, on this sunny day, I headed to the Faculty of Dental Medicine at Plovdiv Medical University. First thing to do was to go down to the wardrobe and put my stuff away. Then upstairs to the Department of Periodontology and Oral Diseases. Welcome to MTV Dental Clinics. Come let me show you around. So this is my dental clinic out over here. These are the chairs that we're going to be working on. And today when our patient comes in, she needs a cleaning. So let's see what we can do for her. Let's go. I went downstairs to collect the patient and took her to the wardrobe to put her stuff away as well. So uh, right now we're in the waiting room. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to sit in one of these chairs over here. Okay. I'll get everything ready inside the classroom and then we can go from there. Inside, yeah? Okay, cool. All right. While the patient was waiting outside in the waiting room, I got the chair ready. And once we were done, I called her in. Okay, Nirali, we're ready for you. So you come inside the classroom. So this is gonna be our chair today. Don't worry, there's nothing scary going on. Have a seat. Get comfortable. Now I start with the briefing where I explain what we're going to do today and I get an informed consent form. While the patient fills in the form, I get my tools ready for stage one, the oral checkup. So when you want instruments in Bulgarian, you call it a complex. So I'm just like, as this come complex, which means I want a complex. Um, and she'll take my ID and just give it. Okay, because this is periodontology, the checkup works slightly differently to conservative dentistry, which is what we did in our last video. My tools that I will be using. First things first, I've got my gloves right over here. I've got a nice little blue apron for you, especially just for Raleigh. Um, we've also got a periodontal probe over here, which I'm going to be using later on. Um, and then we have our basic complex. I will be taking the oral hygiene index, which is the average score of the plaque, calculus and debris buildup in the teeth. This will help me locate the most likely areas for calculus and determine how at risk the patient is to develop some sort of a disease. This is our basic complex, our dental forceps, the dental mirror and the explorer okay. and the she basically. The first thing on the form is just checking where the plaque retentive sites on the teeth are. These can be caries, overcrowding of teeth, palatal grooves, splints, overhanging restorations, gum recession and poorly fitting dentures. So there are a lot of reasons. So I will start my intraoral examination. So this part is just going to be a general checkup of the your teeth. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing, I'll start off with your most posterior tooth on this side, okay. go on to the other side and then check your lower teeth as well. Mm -hmm. I'm really just looking for any sort of defects that I can find okay. which um, could be cause for concern. Okay. Okay, so right now we're just looking at the lingual surface of the teeth. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see if there's any caries on that. And it looks pretty clean. On the occlusal though, on the maxillary first molar, there's a slight superficial caries. But we'll make sure we label that on our paper. I finished the checkup of the plaque retentive sites and noted it down on my sheet. Now it's time for the next step. 
The teacher came over and recommended that we check for gum bleeding next. Very gently. So she explained her technique and handed me the periodontal probe to continue. Okay, so the teacher just came over and said that um, she wants us to do a different part of the paper first. She said do the bleeding first and then we can go back to the hygiene and calculus index after that. So right now we're going to be using a periodontal probe right here. And we're going to be checking um, the bleeding of the gingiva. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to be checking for the bleeding on the lingual surface of these teeth. When checking for gingival bleeding, the probe is kept parallel to the long axis of the tooth and inserted about one millimeter below the gingiva and moved along the surface slowly without pressure. We don't want to damage the periodontal fibers in this process. So what we're going to do now is just wait for 15 seconds and then we're going to see if uh, the gingiva starts bleeding. If it starts bleeding, then that tells us that that part needs to be cleaned much better than the other parts. A bit of bleeding over here, but as you can see, the calculus is here. So this part needs to definitely be cleaned. So we've checked the bleeding on probing and now we go on to the plaque index for specific teeth. Namely 1611243136 and 44. These have been scientifically identified to be the most likely to accumulate plaque. 44, four, this premolar right over here. No plaque. No this step basically involves checking all the surfaces of these teeth to see if any plaque comes off the teeth with the tip of the explorer. Calculus index. We're done with the plaque index. The next thing to do is to look at the calculus index, which we calculate by firstly splitting the teeth into six segments. The left and right posterior and anterior segments for the upper and lower jaws. Then we assign a number to each segment depending on the tooth that has the highest amount of calculus covering its surface. So, so we're going to be doing right now is the debris index. This is where we stain the teeth in order to see where the debris has built up and then we'll know where to clean from there. So we're going to use Rondell's Blue. Okay, so this is the Rondell's Blue solution we're going to be using to check for the debris index. Let's go. I'm going to stain all of your teeth right now. And we're just going to I see stain where this all the teeth in. with Rondell's Blue using your forceps. I also recommend if you are doing this to put some Vaseline on the patient's lips beforehand as this prevents the disclosing tablet from staining the lips. Okay, so I think we're done with all the services. Okay. So we just asked the patient to spit. Uh, we don't want to rinse the staining out, but the spitting just removes the excess staining and now we can see where all the debris has deposited. So let me show you some specific spots. That very bright pink indicates that that's where the debris has uh, developed and that's what we need to clean up. Okay, so you can see some staining right over there. So unfortunately we ran out of time today so this is all we were able to do. We got the staining, we got the calculus index, debris index and hygiene index and then in the next lesson Nirali you can come in again and we'll give you a nice clean up of the teeth and we'll make sure those teeth are shiny. So the patient just walked out of the room, uh, we were done with the checkup. Unfortunately we didn't have enough time to actually finish the entire cleaning but we did get all of our hygiene index, our debris index, our calculus index so we know exactly which parts of the teeth to focus on. So when she comes in in the next next lesson we are going to be finishing off the cleaning and that's what part two of this video is going to be so guys if you haven't subscribed to this channel hit that subscribe button right down there because you already know it's gonna be good anyway my name is future dentist thank you for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next video